Let's say for this first example, we have an increase in demand because consumer expectations are high and the size of the market has increased. The number of buyers, as you know, when we have an increase in demand, both price and quantity will increase. Price and quantity will increase. But I want you to take a look at the relationship of price and quantity supplied. This point right here. I'm gonna bring this all the way down. This represents quantity supplied. Remember, suppliers will increase the quantity supplied of goods and increase costs anticipating higher revenues because of this increase in demand. So the law of supply says that when prices go up, quantity supplied will also increase. In this example, we are going to take a look at a decrease in demand because consumer expectations are low and the size of the market, meaning the number of buyers, has also gone down. When we have a decrease in demand, both price and quantity decrease. Price and quantity go down. I'm going to draw a left word shift in demand. But I want you to pay attention to quantity supplied and price. Price and quantity supplied. So watch where I'm at here on this curve. Bringing this all the way down. This quantity is showing the quantity supplied of production. And as you know, the law of supply says when prices go down, the quantity supplied will also decrease. Suppliers will decrease quantity supplied and decrease their costs when nobody is buying their products. In this example, we are going to take a look at an increase in supply. When we have an increase in supply, our prices will go down and our quantity will increase. Let's say for example, cost of production uh, decreased, so firms will choose to supply more goods and services, which will result in a rightward shift in supply. So, when prices go down, quantity will increase. Well, let's take a look at our demand curve our demand curve with the supply curve shift. When prices go down, our quantity demanded will increase. The law of demand says that when prices go down, quantity demanded will increase. If cost of production decrease, Prices of goods imposed on consumers will also go down. When prices go down, 
consumers will buy more goods and services. In this example, we are going to take a look at a decrease in supply because costs of production have increased and firms will supply less goods and services as a result of this increase in their costs. So when costs of production increase, we shift our supply curve to the left. So we have a new price here. Prices will increase. Quantity will decrease. Say leftward shift in the supply curve. When prices go up. Quantity will go down. But take a look at our demand curve. Our demand curve. Look at where price and quantity demanded meet. I'm going to bring this all the way down. This quantity represents quantity demanded. And the law of demand says when prices go up, quantity demanded will decrease. The cost of productions, if they continue to go up, prices of goods imposed on consumers will increase. And when prices go up, consumers will buy less, meaning they demand less.